All right. Well, welcome to the Lavender Tone. This is going to be our, our uh, it's like a talk show mixed with Pokemon news. Um, it's mostly going to be me putting all this stuff together and then telling it to AJ. And then we'll talk <laughs> about it. AJ does not know any of this stuff beforehand. Yeah. I've sent him nothing here. Um, so we'll go over the news first. Uh, the goal is for it to be a weekly show. Um, so we'll go over the news first of the week. And then after that, we'll play some type of game. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll either do like a trivia thing. We'll do pack for pack once we get a setup for it. Um, you know, we'll have different things. Every week we'll do something else fun after the news. So, um, well, anyways, would... You ready for this, AJ? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for the game at the end. I don't think we're ready for that <laughs> <No>. one. <laughs> All right. So first bit of news. Um, right now in Pokemon Sword and Shield, you can get a Pikachu with Ash's hat from the Hoenn region. Um, you can get that via mystery gift. Um, the code is, uh, it's just P one and then K a advanced. So it's like Pika advanced, but with a one instead of an I. Um, and yeah, that gets you a Pikachu with Ash's hat. How adorable is that? <laughs> now this is the <laughs> like game on the switch, right? Yeah, this is sword and shield. This okay. is like the actual Pokemon game and anybody can do that right now. You could turn on your switch right now and get a Pikachu with Ash's hat from Hoenn in it. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Um, they do that a lot, uh, especially in Pokemon Go. They do a lot of, like, hat Pokemon. I think at, at this point they've released all of Ash's hat in Pokemon Go. Um, I, did you did you see the message that Pokemon Energy sent us? Which one? Oh, yes, yes, yeah. with the rewards. Yeah. yeah. There's another rewards. I should have put that in here. But to be completely honest with you, I put this together yesterday. Yeah, you're good. And that news is today. I'll put a little, um, if the picture's still there, I'll put a little screen cap up on the video. And then, yeah, they can use that. Yeah, there's basically a code to get a bunch of free stuff in Pokemon Go. I think it's like 30 Ultra Balls and then some other stuff. Yeah, so, it's like really good. Freebies, <laughs> are, freebies are always great. Um, all right, so the next set of news I think you'll have a little bit more to say about. Um, the Pokemon Company announced that the next Japanese trading card game set is called Shiny Star V. Yeah. Um, it's got a bunch of shiny Pokemon. Um, and each booster pack comes with 10 cards and a guaranteed V or V Max. So yeah. that's cool. This is um, their isn't this technically like their um their champions path? I think I don't know. Honestly, you're more plugged into the Japanese cards than I am. Okay. Um, I would say you're probably more of an expert on this topic than I am. Yeah. Um, but I do know it comes with 300 new cards and has 127 shinies. What? <laughs> oh oh yeah. my god! Hopefully, we'll be getting that what next early next year here. Um... In the States. Maybe maybe spring, something like that. I know that um, for those of you in the Pokemon community that know of this guy, I mean he's kind of well known at this point to anybody that's like an avid collector. But it's Danny Phantom. Um, he runs a he runs a shop that's now up and running, and he is actually one of the few like people in the states that is putting up a pre-order for this and cool. i know that it releases you said november right in japan mm, i actually didn't say i didn't have a date okay i think it releases in november for japan but like he won't be able to ship it until like december or, like next year oh my goodness yeah but it's like awesome because he's like giving he's giving people in the states the opportunity to pre-order this and then you can get it so I yeah. thought that was really cool. Um, but yeah, I did 300 new cards. Oh my yep. God. 300 cards and 127 of them are shiny. So. That's uh, insane. We, uh, we've kind of avoided the elephant in the room here, which is that one of those cards will be a shiny Charizard VMAX. 
Yeah. They're just like upping the Charizard. Like they're like, oh, here's Darkness Ablaze. Here's a uh, Charizard VMAX. Oh my God, everyone needs it. Okay, now Champions Pass has a shiny Charizard and a Rainbow VMAX. Okay, well, now the next set has a shiny Charizard VMAX in it. That's insane. So, yeah, so that's going to be, you know, that set is going to go quickly when it comes out here. Yeah. Because it is impossible to find Champions Pass anywhere. Uh, <clears throat> yes, it is impossible to find it anywhere. I had the, I had the, like, I got super lucky with being able to get them at Target. But, like, mm -hmm. I went there yesterday and they were all gone. Yeah, my Target doesn't even, like, it doesn't, it's not that they're sold out of them. It doesn't even have, like, a place where it would be. So <laughs> yeah, I got my yeah. champions pass from uh the gaming goat near me. So um in Austin, which I think is my new place to go after this last round. I like the other place where I was going, but they seem more on like the magic side of things with like Pokemon as like yeah a, a side hustle. My the the shot by me, um I'm I've lucked out kind of with that because it is mainly it's heavily warhammer and magic but there's one employee there that pushes pokemon and like he's kind of weird but he's like super <laughs> nice and like super knowledgeable and like helps me out every time mm -hmm. and like has helped me get so much stuff so i've yeah, walked out i think it's all just trying to find that right shop it's hard right now just because you know with covid and everything it's hard yeah like I would like to go to the place in the mall that has nothing but Pokemon stuff, but yeah. I don't want to physically enter a mall right now. Yeah, for sure. So, um, yeah. So, they were doing uh, pickup and then they stopped when it got really bad, didn't they? Yeah, so I called uh, the one time and asked if they were still doing pickup, and basically they said the issue was they were only like having one employee at a time. <clears throat> so they weren't had they didn't have somebody to watch the store while they ran the pickup orders yeah anyways <clears throat> um but yeah that'll be cool shiny star v so hopefully we get some cool stuff out of that i um, have i have one question before you start on the other topic yeah i know the rarity of the charizard v the shiny but like mm -hmm. what because i saw somebody else i can't remember who it was but which one it was a. Uh, who's the chick that's in Japan that opens all the cards? You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I think so, okay. but I don't know. Um, but she brought up a good a, a good point. What do you prefer? Do you prefer shiny Charizard V or the promo Charizard V that came in the ETB? So personally, I prefer the shiny. Yeah. Uh, I like the shiny more than I like any of the other Charizards that have come out with the, uh, you know, Sword and Shield, like the one that came in Darkness Ablaze, the the uh the V Max Rainbow. I like the shiny better than I like either one of them. Yeah. Um the shiny V Max is cool. Um but I still think I like the shiny Charizard V the most. But I do like the promo a lot. Yeah, the promo is really good. Um yeah. But yeah, I'd, I'd honestly, I'd have to agree with you just because, like, the added flair that's on the shiny. Is well, just go so ahead, good. AJ. Just do it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's so bright. But yeah. I can't, I can't see it. There we go. And then, it's not on my screen. There we right go. right there, but they're right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, and then the, the promo is... Yeah. Promo looks good too. Yeah. Um, it, this isn't doing any justice, but like, dude, that promo is like, they weren't playing around with that promo. I can tell you that much. So, yeah, I like it a lot. So, yeah, I kind of wish they would chill on the Charizards a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I would like something else to get a little <laughs> attention, but I also know that Charizard sells like nothing else. Yeah. So, you put a Charizard in it, people are going to buy it. <laughs> For sure. All right. So next bit of news. This is mostly for me. 
Um, I I play Pokemon Masters on my phone a lot. Um, it's not. I always I think when AJ asked me about it, I told him I was like, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's a great game, but I really like collecting the the trainers and their Pokemon, and the events are pretty cool. Um, so this week, uh, the Entei Legendary Arena came back, which is basically almost think of it like a raid battle, but you do it on your own okay. with your own sync pairs. But you basically it's your sync pairs. I think you can use up to like thirty against one giant enemy. Which this month, this week is uh, this month they're rerunning the Entei one, so it's all of your sync pairs versus Entei. Uh, unfortunately, I finished it the first time, and for some reason, they made the decision not to give you the rewards again, so I get nothing for playing it. Um, I don't understand that at all, but... Is it kind of just like another opportunity type thing? Like, if you missed it the last time? That's exactly what it is, but it's like, you could give us something for the people that beat it the first time, because... So this month, new usually every month, they introduce a new Legendary Arena, but this month, instead, they're rerunning three old ones. And it's like, okay, so I don't get a new Legendary Arena, and I get no rewards. <laughs> like, <laughs> cool. Um, but yeah, that's that's Pokemon Masters. I don't want to talk about it for too long. Oh, yeah. uh, but something I enjoy playing that's pretty mindless but fun. Uh, and the last bit of news here is that uh, the... Last DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield, The Crown Tundra, will be available this month, um, October 22nd in the U.S. and the 23rd everywhere else. Okay. So, mm-hmm. so this DLC looks pretty cool. I really like the first one, um, the Isle of Armor, but this one looks even cooler. They're introducing uh, Galarian forms of all three of the legendary birds from Kanto. So they'll have Galarian, Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos. Oh and they all look God. They all look awesome. Those cards are gonna be insane. They look so cool. And then uh they also are introducing uh Galarian Slow King, like we saw. Yep. Um he looks dopey and I love him. Mm-hmm. And then uh they're also also introducing two new Reggies. Um they're introducing uh, an electric one. I think his name is Reggie Alecki, I think. And then, uh, also a dragon one. Okay. Uh, that one's name is escaping me. But, um, yeah, two new Reggies. It's the first time they've introduced any new Reggies since Diamond and Pearl. So, like, oh. well over a decade. Wow. Yeah, because they did, uh, there was Reggie Steel, Reggie Rock, and Reg Ice, who came in uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And then they did Reggie Gigas, who's like supposedly like who put together all the Reggies. Uh, they introduced him in Diamond and Pearl. And then now, four generations later, we're finally getting new Reggies. Dude, they're, they're building up the. What am I thinking of? They're, <laughs> they're trying to put more content out there for the cards, I believe. Because yeah, of I mean, this I'm new cool expan- with- because it's Sword and Shield now. Mm-hmm. They've only had like how many how many expansions of Sword and Shield has there been now? Three main ones and then Champions Pass. Yeah, so they're getting ready, dude. This is go oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm definitely ready for them. The like I said, the Galarian forms of the legendary birds are super cool. You should lift them up while uh, we're done. Um, and the new Reggies look cool too. I think Reggie Alecki is really cool. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I'll make sure so, to put like little pictures up of them. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm, <clears throat> I'm ready for it. The the other DLC I think came out in April or May. Um, and I played it for a while, and then haven't played as much now. So I'm ready to go back. Um, but that's the news. We did it. <laughs> Our first news segment yeah. out of the way. Um, so now we're going to move on to our game this week, <laughs> which is trivia. Yay. <laughs> AJ 
is notoriously he loves Pokemon, but he doesn't have the greatest knowledge of Pokemon. No, I'm just like, ooh, so we're gonna, cool cards. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna play a fun game and see what AJ knows. Oh God, here we go. I made all of these myself. <laughs> I didn't consult any anything for these other than I went to certain Pokemon and things Bulbapedia pages. That was it. I made all these on my own. So, mm. all right, let's get started. Okay. We have four. We have four questions. Oh, so you can play along at home. Can you beat AJ's knowledge of Pokemon? <laughs> First question. What item does Slowpoke need to hold while being traded to evolve into Slowking? Is it A, the Dark Stone, B, an Everstone, C, a King's Rock, or D, a King's Helmet? Uh... What this were, is like who wants to be a millionaire. Yeah, what were what were the answers again? A a dark stone, B an everstone, C a king's rock, or D a king's helmet. Oh god, uh B. B an everstone is your final answer. No, D. D a king's helmet is your final <laughs> answer. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> the answer to that would be King's Rock. A King's Rock? I don't even know what a King's Rock is. <laughs> well, uh, when Slowpoke holds it and gets traded, it turns into Slow King. I believe it also evolves Poliwhirl into Politoad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're 0 for 1 already. Yeah. We're off to a great start here. <laughs> now, question 2. Which is probably the most interesting question, in my opinion. The other ones are, are petulant, and I'm trying to get you. This is probably the most interesting one. Which Pokemon was the first Pokemon ever created? And I mean created by, like, Game Freak. Uh, by, by the actual creators of Pokemon. A. Pikachu. B. Rhydon. C. Jigglypuff. Or D, Dragonair? The answers again are A, Pikachu, B, Rhydon, C, Jigglypuff, or D, Dragonair? Uh, I I don't know why. I feel like it's not Pikachu. Uh, Jigglypuff? C, Jigglypuff is your final answer. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> what is it? No wrong answer. The answer is B. Rhydon was the first Pokemon ever created. He was actually created. Um, he came from the thing that they were making before Pokemon. I believe it was called Capsule Monsters. Uh, before they actually made Pokemon, and then Rhydon became a Pokemon instead. Okay. But yeah, Rhydon was the first one. All right, we're 0 for 2, everyone. At least I was right about it, not being Pikachu. <laughs> You're right. Pikachu, I definitely added as a, uh, you know, I was trying to get you with it. Like a gotcha? A little bit of a gotcha. Speaking of Pokemon Masters, that's nah, a gotcha game. Yeah. Um, cool. So, next question. In the Pokemon series, every Pokemon has a category in the Pokedex. Uh, Like, Pikachu is the electric mouse Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Um, This one, I picked this Pokemon because I know you love it. Kabutops and Kabuto share their category name with Blastoise. What is that category name? Is it A, the hard shell Pokemon, B, the shellfish Pokemon, C, the water jet Pokemon, or D, the armor shell Pokemon? A, hard shell. B, shellfish. C, water jet. D, armor shell. 
I feel like it's C or D, but I'm gonna go with D. D, the armor shell Pokemon, is your final answer. <sighs> yeah. Give me one second. No, I'm just no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going with D. D is incorrect. Is the answer is B, the shellfish Pokemon. Blast? You said Blastoise. The Blastoise shellfish. is considered a shellfish. I mean, I'll check my work here, but no, I trust you. But that's so weird. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't put the right answer. I didn't put the answer on there, and that's the only one that I'm like, wait, that was the shellfish Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm right. Um, it is the shellfish Pokemon. I was right. Oh my god! What the heck? Yep, Blastoise, Kabuto, and Kabutops—all the shellfish Pokemon. Not gonna lie, you made me—you made me worry. Though, <laughs> all right, final question. Final, final round, AJ, for redemption. This is your redemption arc, okay? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Which Pokemon was voted Pokemon of the Year in 2020? So this was voted on online. Basically, everybody went in and put who their favorite Pokemon was. And the winner was crowned Pokemon of the Year. Here we go. Is it A, Charizard, B, Mimikyu, C, Gengar, or D, Greninja? Again, those are A, Charizard, B, Mimikyu, C, Gengar, D, Greninja. In 2020? 2020, this year. I believe it was in February of this year. Greninja. So your final answer is D, Greninja. Yeah. Well, AJ, you've been redeemed because the answer is Greninja. Hell yeah. <laughs> you did it. You went one for four, but you got the redemption question. <laughs> That's all that matters. That's all that matters. The one that literally has nothing to do with the game, period. <laughs> redeemed. Redeemed. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, that was our game. Uh, did you did you do better than AJ? Uh, that's the question to everybody. Yeah, you can leave that down in the comments below. <laughs> yeah, let let AJ know how much better than him that you did. Yeah. Um, and for the last little bit here, I got us all a little present. Oh, we're gonna open this up, and I'm gonna give away the code card. Nice. I don't really have a good way to show you the polls on screen, so I'm just gonna let you know if I get a good card out of this. If it's a trash card, I'm not gonna bother. Well, you so, gotta let us know what the rare is at least. I'll let you know what the rare is. Pulls a Charizard oh. Max. <laughs> this is this is Darkness Ablaze, and I would show you the code card, but I believe because my camera's backwards, I'm gonna have to read it to you. So that's gonna be W is in whiskey, X is in X-ray, H is in hotel, Z is in Zulu, seven seven. Y is in Yankee, W is in Whiskey, J is in Julia, D is in Delta, 2, V is in Victor, 2. Hope you got all that. Let's see. All right, we got a Combuskin, a Pupitar, a Corvusquire, a Larvista, a Morlol, a Toxel, a Little Skitty, a Rowlet, a Reverse Flygon, and we got... A trash rare. Volcano. <laughs> just terrible. So don't worry, you didn't miss anything. Oh, and the energy was a dark energy. Nice. So you didn't miss much other than you got your code. If you can get your QR scanner, you can get it right there. Well, that's it, everybody. That is the pilot slash episode zero of the Lavender Tone. Hopefully we'll be back. Things Hopefully we'll be a little bit better. My setup is not great right now. I have a mic, but I ended up not being able to use it. So hopefully by the next episode, I'll have that mic up and I won't sound as bad. But yeah, that's it. <laughs>
that's that's the pilot right there. I hope you guys enjoyed. We've got more coming. Like I said, the goal is to make it weekly. I don't think we've decided on what day of the week yet. But, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll get some more from here. AJ, thank you for joining me today. You are welcome. As, as my, uh, my guest and the guest who will be here literally every single week. I'm the co-host. Maybe we'll have more guests <laughs> in the future. Yeah. Who knows? But AJ will always be here. He's my co-host. But this week he's a guest because it's the pilot. <laughs> but after this, he gets promoted to co-host status for episode one. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks for checking in, everybody. If we decide to post this, uh, appreciate you stopping by. Bye.